Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today we're going to make this world card using some waffle flower products and some watercolors. So we're going to be using this set called Hooray, illustrated by Helen Dardick with these darling, fun, happy kids, and also this alpha cutaway set. I'm going to use a portion of this sentiment from the Flora Cat Meow set and then also some of the letters in this be my guest set we're going to spell the to me for the inside of the card so let's get started I have some Tim Holtz watercolor paper here and these Kurataki Gonzai Tombi watercolors and this number 62 is perfect to make the earth and also number 53 so I'll be using those two colors to create this and a water pen. This is just a Secura water pen and I'm going to just create a curve here at the bottom of the card using just a little bit of water and this is going to create a likeness of the world. I'll get some of that blue color number 62 and just start placing it on the uh, curve that I made. So just adding a little more color here. We're not going to go all the way in, just around the outside at first, just to get that likeness of the spherical shape. And then we'll go to that number 53, the green color, and add some land masses. Now it's going to start out looking not too pretty, as sometimes art projects go but just create kind of a likeness of these land masses and if you get a little too much paint on there that's okay you can just dab some off with a little bit of a paper towel or a Kleenex which is what I'm using here and I'm just gonna play around a little bit with that green and if you're anything like me you will probably mess around with this for a little while as you can see, I got a little bit of a splatter of some paint up there on my white card, the watercolor card stock, and I'm going to take care of that a little bit later. I'll show you how I do that. But meanwhile, just adding a little more color, a little more color, some more blue around the land masses here, and just keep working that with the water brush. So just taking that water brush, and you can see that I dab it off to the side there on my paper towel when I get a little too much color and I just keep working it a little bit here a little bit there adding water when needed here is where you can see I take some clean water and mop up those splatters that I accidentally got on the paper there so I'm just gonna keep working this I actually cut out quite a bit of this video <laughs> I played around with this for quite a, some time, but this is just a representation. It doesn't have to be completely accurate, but there you have it. So I will put that aside, and now I'm going to take some more watercolor paper here and some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp out uh, one of those boys and one of the girls from the Hooray stamp set. And then I'm going to heat set those using some clear embossing powder by Ranger. This is one of my favorite things when I'm watercoloring is to use embossing powder because it creates a little bit of a well there when you're watercoloring and it's easier to keep it right inside the lines. So a little fun tip there for you. Knocking off a little bit of that embossing powder there and then using my heat tool to set that embossing powder. If you're a messy watercolor like me sometimes, then try this trick to keep your watercoloring inside the lines. Now I'm just going to funnel the rest of that embossing powder back into the jar there. I'll go ahead and start watercoloring these images. For the girl, I'm going to use number 34 for her dress. So I like to put a little drop of water in the colors that I'm going to use so that it can loosen up that watercolor and get it ready for my watercoloring. So for her hair I'm using number 43 and 44 which are a couple shades of yellow there. And then for the boy number 66 on his pants which is a similar color to the earth and then 51 for his shirt which is a green. 
And then for his hair, number 44 and 47, and also 47 for his shoes. You'll see that I watercolor these images fairly quickly here. And I just add some shading, a little bit more darkness on areas. And you can see here that I'm just about finished. Going to add a little more color to his hair to darken it up. I wanted his hair to be a little bit more brown and her hair to be a little more blonde. Now I prefer to let these air dry because I think it creates some beautiful effects when you let it air dry. So I'm going to set that aside and since our, our world is pretty much dry here, I'm going to go ahead and move on with the sentiment. So I already created the sentiment world with the Cutaway Alpha stamp set. I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black and that Your The is the sentiment from the Cat Meow set. So I'm just creating the You're The World. And there are a couple of dots in that Cutaway Alpha set and I'm just using those with a regular block to add those. As you can see I didn't line that up perfectly but this is a handmade card. I'm just going to say it's part of the beauty. And here you can see that I do use that clear embossing powder once again. I did not want to smear this ink. It is a pigment ink so it takes a little longer to dry. So when you use the embossing powder that just sets that ink so it won't smear. It's a great trick. Heat setting it here and then I will go ahead and funnel that back into the jar, the remaining embossing powder there. And then we will move on to adding these cute kids to the world. This reminds me a little bit about when my husband and I were dating. <laughs> we had that look on our faces, so in love. So I don't currently have the dies for this set, so I'm just going to fussy cut this, turning my paper as I go. And again, through the magic of editing, here they are already cut out. Now I am getting dangerously low on this Scotch foam tape roll. Any of you that have seen this, it, it when it comes, when you first purchase it, it is larger than your head. And here I am down to the very end. It makes me a little bit nervous. So I am adding quite a bit of foam tape because I want these characters to be popped up and not collapse in any of the areas. So you can see I actually add a ridiculous amount of foam tape here. But that's okay. I'll keep them nice and secure on the card as well. So here I am adding him on top of the world and I'm going to do the same thing with the girl using that 3M foam tape. So there you go and I thought that it needed a little something so I found a little heart in this waffle flower set called Baron Bird. So I'm going to take that heart and stamp it also on some watercolor paper using the same ink. And then I'm going to use the same color of the watercolor that I used on her dress. And here I am just starting out with a light color, coloring that with the watercolors. And then I'm going to go on with a little bit darker of the same shade, same color there, and add that to the top of the heart. So I gave that just a little bit of time to dry. It's such a small image that it didn't take long at all. And then I'm also going to fussy cut out this heart just by turning the paper here. I usually try to keep my scissors straight and then turn the paper and that gives me a nice clean edge. So now that I have that cut out, I'm going to use a gel pen to add some little accents to the top of the heart. You can see I had a hard time getting that started. I used my finger to warm up the edge of the roller. Uh, then it finally worked for me there. So also using some foam tape to pop this up in between the two um, in between the two of them here on this world card and there you have our front panel. So I'm going to attach this to a card base here. I like to use score tape when I'm working with watercolor paper, since it's a heavier paper, I want to make sure that it stays put on the front of this card. So this is score tape here and I've added it around the four edges and also a little bit to the middle. And I'm just going to take those off 
and attach that to the front of the card. And then all we need is the sentiment on the inside of the card. So I've just created two me using those letters from the Be My Guest set. I've taken also those dots from the Alpha set and created our little sentiment on the inside. And at this point, I didn't want to mess anything up, so again, I used the clear embossing powder to set that, and I used my heat tool. And that way I'm not going to smear it on the inside. Wouldn't that be terrible if I did that at this point? Almost done with the card here. Here you have, you're the world to me. So cute. I hope you enjoyed this project today. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I hope you want to try this watercolor method to add some cute accents to your card. For more information about the products, visit waffleflower.com. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, I hope your day is filled with sunshine.